All right, the other day, Justin and I unboxed a brand new box of Duke 550s. Um, I tried to video it and for some reason it didn't record. So um, I'm going to re, re or I'm, now I'm going through it with final thoughts and first impressions that we had had um, just to kind of touch, touch on some of the things. Uh, there's a lot of controversy with this trap, but uh, you know, for me, it saves me money. It works the same. I know a lot of guys are gonna, you know, put this trap down because it. Uh, they say that it's copying the MB550, but uh, you know what? It's it's cheaper by the dozen, and uh, that means more money in your pocket in the long run. So it's gonna save me money. I mean. I'm sure those guys are the ones that don't shop at Walmart. So I shop at Walmart. I don't, I don't you know, I got a family to feed. And uh, if I can make my dollar go further, then that's what I'm going to do. So all that aside, I'm going to move the camera so you get a better look at the trap itself. Um, straight out of the box, you know, the, the, the biggest thing that I noticed that's different is it's a nice square pan on it and um, I like the the jaw thickness so um, but other than that we're going to uh, get a closer look unfortunately I've already waxed and dyed these um, so they do look different than what they would look like coming out of the box so but other than that you know they're double swiveled right out of the box they got a great chain on them a very nice strong chain We'll see how these the swivels hold up, but they look to be a very good swivel. Pre-night latched right out of the box. They sit level, so I'm going to set this one real quick, and then I'm going to move the camera so that we can uh, get a better look at it, okay? Here's that night latch. Right there. Good rock solid night latch on it. Look how flat that pan is. Right across. That's right out of the box. I mean all I did was throw them in the throw them in the uh, vinegar for a few hours, pulled them out so that the uh, air would create some rust. I threw them in the dye and then I waxed them. So I've done zero adjustment on it. That's this is straight out of the box as far as the adjustment goes. So give me a second and I'll, uh, I'll move the camera. All right, so <clears throat> this is the Duke 550. Nice square pan on, uh, on the trap, good kill area. Um, good heavy, nice heavy jaws. Two coil, uh, it's from what everything that I've read and everything I've used, the two coil is strong enough for uh, coyotes and uh, you'll be able to also catch fox with these they're set pre-pan tension at about three pounds uh, they come pre-night latched nice jaw spread good heavy jaws these are offset also um, again you know comes with a good nice heavy chain double swiveled I already have my tag on there double base plate right here with the D in the middle everything you would want from a uh, from a Duke or from a trap Duke uh, you know they did a good job on this trap just like just like any of these double coiled traps I'm gonna go ahead and do this while I have it right here if I have my if I have the right tool in here So what I like to do, first off, is I'm going to take and I'm going to fire this trap. All right. So trap's fired. Underneath of here, these spring legs come through the frame, and they stick out here. When I have long pe uh, pegs like that, I always like to try to bend them over, just like this. 
not only does that help keep that spring in place here when you go to bed that trap it actually helps dig that trap into that uh, that trap bed so again you know this is it, it's it's a great trap uh, for less money I mean in the grand scheme of things if you're a predator if you're a predator trapper and that's all you're doing with or uh, for deer management you're not trying to make a lot of money but you like to make enough to get your money back from what you do uh, invest in traps you know this this is a great great trap from Duke uh, so I highly recommend it you're gonna have people uh, knock it and slam it and and whatever else but for the money you can't uh, you can't beat it so till next time Thanks for joining.